What's up? My name is Rich. Welcome back to another video. For this channel right here, this is going to be something new, probably owed to some of y'all because I know some of you all are already experiencing this. I just recently purchased an iPad uh, for Procreate. So I've been dabbling with it and it turns out I kind of like it. I had the Wacom tablet before, you know, for Illustrator and using a computer and whatnot. Just wasn't for me, but I think this right here is for me. So I went ahead and got the iPad Air. I didn't get the Pro because I think the iPad Air is fast enough so far. It seems to be quick enough. So yeah, let's get straight into it. So on the iPad, we're going to use Procreate to make a t-shirt design. And from there, we're going to get it printed onto a t-shirt. We can do that a variety of different ways. But let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so I'm screen recorded. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open up Procreate. And as you can see, uh, these four images at the bottom, those came with Procreate. Uh, the ones above is just like stuff I've been playing around with. So when I start a new document, I just hit the plus. Uh, hit the, this little plus right here again. And then dimensions, I go ahead and put in inches. And I pretty much make it the same dimensions as I will my t-shirt design. So 12 inches wide, about 14 to 16 inches tall. I'm going to go with 14 and 300 DPI. So hit create. And then here I have my document size. So um, I really don't know how to draw like that, to be honest. I'm not a true original artist. I'm not the greatest at drawing. So basically what I do is I just trace images. After I trace it the first few times, then I can pretty much draw it on my own. Um, so what I do is I pull up my accounts with like Vexels or Elements by Envato where I have the rights to like the image where I can actually, you know, alter the image with no copyright issues where I really don't have any copyright issues when it comes to you know producing it and merchandise and whatnot so uh, two accounts I have is Vexels and Elements by Envato so here I am in Vexels I'm just like searching for cash so I have a few things pulled up that I can use um, basically I just search around until I find an image that I like so I didn't see anything with Vexels that I like. Here's Elements by Envato. So check this out. Elements by Envato also has free courses. So if you want to learn more about Photoshop and all that, they have courses on here. And that's pretty neat. Now I'm going to hit the search button. Write in cash. And I'm just going to look for something. I'm going to go to pictures. This is kind of similar to the one I used before. Um, can't remember the one I used before. I'm just gonna go ahead and go with this one. All right, so now I have the image pulled up. All I do is I just drag this picture on over to Procreate. Right now I am using like a multitasking window, so it allows me to open Safari and use Procreate and swipe it like in and out. So it's pretty neat. I really like that. So here I have this pulled up right here. All I'm gonna do is hit this little layer button and I'm gonna use two fingers to tap on it. And now I can control my opacity. See that? I think there's also another way to do it. Oh, you hit this letter N and then there's your opacity right there. So either or, like in Illustrator, Photoshop, whatever program, there's more than one way to do everything. So um, I'm gonna pull up a new layer and I'm gonna go over here to my brush tool. I'm gonna click it again. The one that I use is an inking studio pen. And I've also seen you can purchase more brush types. Um, different artists sell their own types of brushes and things of that nature. So you can look into that as well. There, there's probably some uh, for, there's probably even some for download like um, Elements by Envato or something. I have not looked. But uh, I use the studio pen. Wait, this is kind of out of edge. Let me go back to this one. Hit this little cursor so I can resize it. Now I'm going to make sure I'm on layer two. So when I draw right here, it's in my second layer. So if I uncheck this, you can still see it. But let me undo all that. So if I drew it on the first layer, if I uncheck it, it's going to go away with that because I'm actually drawing on the actual cache image instead of his own layer. All right, so let's get started. Get my brush. 
right here studio pen and right here on the left side you can control your brush size make sure this uh, brush opacity is all the way up now all I'm gonna do is just start tracing all right so I don't like that size undo it go back down a little bit and it doesn't necessarily have to be perfect to begin with also if you saw like right here I made this little dot right there um, so they sell I just purchased like on Amazon they have like this little glove that just goes on your pinky uh, finger where it'll cover up your skin so that whenever you're touching the screen there's really no uh, mistakes like that all right so we got that done but I made another mistake mistakes happen all right so now I'm gonna come in and I'm not really gonna make this in fine detail I'm just gonna lower the brush a little bit since it's not like a main stroke I'm just gonna come in do something like that I'm just gonna trace around the things that we want to capture I've never done a face before yet, so it might look a little funny. <laughs> All right, so I got majority of the stuff that I want for that. Um, every once in a while, we can click on this layer button right here. Uncheck it, just give it a quick look. So far, it looks pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna go back. Now I'm just gonna do the rest of this stuff. Let's make this brush back to a little bit thicker. I'm literally just drawing lines right now. All right, so now let's uncheck it. See how it looks? Looks pretty decent so far. All right, so when it really comes to life is when I add a little bit of color to it and I go back and uh, define all of the lines with a little bit more thickness. So um, I need some ideas for colors. There's a few things we can do we can click on this right here check this out they have different types of uh color charts we can look at but if you look at harmony this is pretty cool so it pretty much shows you like the complementary colors things of that nature i mean it won't necessarily work too well with the cache well i guess it could because if you see like i'm selecting different greens on the top right right here showing me like two different greens so it's pretty neat but anyways, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to Safari. I'm going to go to Vexels. And I'm just going to look for, yeah, I guess this right here would work. I'm just going to drag that over. All right, so here we go. Make that kind of large to the side. Basically... All I'm gonna do is sample this for its colors. So all you have to do is take your finger. There might be another way to do it. I don't know every shortcut yet, but take your finger and do a hard press on it. And right here is pretty much your eyedropper tool and you can pretty much sample colors. Right here, selecting a blue of the jar. Right here's the dark green. Right here's this light green. So I want this light green. I'm gonna go back, uncheck this, and I'm gonna hit on my cache. Uh, a lot of times I like to duplicate layers so all I have to do is swipe left hit duplicate that way I'm not messing up the original one uncheck the original one now I'm on this one right here so I still have my original one if I mess up now all I have to do as long as this box right here is enclosed so we have to look at all the edges I'm gonna go back real quick make this black again make sure the box is enclosed okay Now, I'm going to go back to my green. I don't know if that's the one. So let's go back over here. Get eyedropper tool. Uncheck that. And now, once I have this open, all I have to do is click and hold this little circle and drag it on over. 
All right, so I probably missed an area somewhere. That's why it's coloring everything. So right here, there's an area. So I'm gonna undo, go back, hit black. All right, so that is my color green. All right, so let's close that up. I think that's good. Now, go back to my green, drag it on over. There we go. So now it colored everything I needed it to color. Um, except for a few areas because it's also enclosed itself. So all I'm gonna do is just do the same thing. Drag it on over. It's eyes. Uh, some areas is gonna be kind of hard to do. So for uh, smaller areas like right here in his little, I don't know if this is eyebrow, but I pretty much just color it in. You can make the brush smaller. That way it fits a little better. But yeah, just color it in. So I'm not too worried about being perfect yet because I'm gonna go back and fix everything a little later on once we start making it a little more detailed. Like these little areas right here, I'm not too concerned about because we're gonna go back and make it like a dark green. So we have at least like three colors to uh, deal with with this print. So right now I'm gonna look for a complementary color or pretty much a secondary color so i'm gonna go back over here get my eyedropper tool once again let me get this dark green all right so now uncheck this go back to my cache and get my brush tool make it slightly larger now here maybe even larger not too concerned that's covering up the black because like i said we're gonna go back make a little more detailed later on but this is just gonna give it a little more depth I suppose I don't know if that's the right word but brings it a little more to life all right so now I'm gonna bring up my original cache image again and now I'm just gonna click on this lower the opacity or actually you know what I could do is just uncheck this entire thing so I can see the cache once again make a new layer and now I'm gonna see where I want to make my dark green. All right, so let's see how that looks. I'm honestly not too sure how it's gonna look, but let's bring this back. All right, so it doesn't look too bad, right? Check my cache once again. And now we have a little bit more detail to it. So now my third color will be like a light green to give it even more detail. But I think the third color will be more of like a final detail. I'm just going to create one more layer. Just going to go ahead and go back to my black. And now I'm going to start bringing this to life. So how I do that is pretty much by I like to make like a thick stroke for like the entire outside of the image and then come back with like finer details in black all right so i don't like it when my lines are too perfect all right so i'm pretty much just outlining it again um lines and sizes don't have to be too perfect like it doesn't have to be like 10 point straight stroke across the entire thing so right here you might need to be a little more perfect i suppose or a little more uh i don't know i don't know what's the word a little more cautious i suppose you don't want to like earlier i said you can just like pretty much draw around and it doesn't have to be perfect this is the time where you want to spend a little more time being intricate the camera stopped recording some time ago don't know when it stopped recording so i'm just gonna repeat myself at some point let me go back to hopefully where i was at um so i did this left side right here and if we compare it to the right side you can see the difference just because we made like the strokes thicker and whatnot and right here where we colored the dark green earlier now we're just going back to like fix some of those portions You know, by just giving it a little more detail, making some portions thicker. Um, and then if we still want to use the dark green, a quick way for me to go between colors, I just pull up my eyedropper tool once again, 
now I'm using a dark green and then like if I mess up too much I just go back hit my light green and that's pretty much it for that and it's a little unorganized the way I do it on Procreate it's not necessarily the same way I do it on Photoshop or Illustrator but it just seems like a quick way to edit on here is just by covering stuff up at least that's what I found so far to be useful for me um everybody's gonna be using this different of course but so far that's how I've been using it and as you can see the more the more we add stuff like this like thick lines it'll give it a better visual so I'm just gonna make this quick I think I get I think you guys get the idea so as of right now it's not gonna be perfect anymore so what I would do after all of this so this guy right here we still got to fix him so let, let's go ahead and go over him real quick so something like that man it's not gonna be perfect I'm just trying to run through it now give you guys a better idea but anyways I'm gonna hit a third color so it already does kind of look a little better I think I gave him too much hair but now I'm gonna get a third color for like my highlights so I'm gonna get this green and then let's go to classic no let's go to disc or classic we're gonna make it a little lighter yeah something like that perfect so now I'm just gonna give it some more highlights in certain areas that I wanted to have highlights All right, so I think you guys get the idea of what's going on here. Um, so, so one last thing I do like to do is I come back over here to the background, make it black, because most of the stuff I make is like on black shirts. And now we could do this on the computer as well. We could go ahead and add the white stroke on the computer once we vectorize it. But I like the little rough like stroke, like where it's not a perfectly where it's not like a perfect line stroke where everything is like a certain amount of points across so go back to my background color i'm sorry i make this like a gray i come back over here to my new layer click on it i'm gonna hit white get my brush same way i did my black stroke on the money just go ahead and make an outline on the cache And as you can see, it's not perfect. And I think that gives it a more unique look. All right, so let's zoom out. So I think you get the idea, right? So here we have our cache. If we look in this little area right here, this is like where we spent most of our time making it perfect. Looks pretty neat, right? So I'm gonna show you guys a quick time lapse of another one I did, and I'm gonna give you guys a voiceover. Right, so here we have a stack of cash, same thing. I pulled it up from Elements by Envato. So right here, I'm sampling colors from the bottom picture that I brought up. And you know, I got the light green, dark green. Right here, I'm already going back and doing the thicker lines for the detail. And at this moment right here, I decided I didn't want the clock. And I just deleted it and then drew everything else in. Now I'm just adding a little more color in. My secondary color. Now I'm on the third uh, color of green. Adding some more thickness to it. Now I brought in this ninja star. And I'm tracing that. And what I'm doing next will involve a little more skill because I'm not going to be tracing anything. I'm going to be just making this part up. So right here, I had to draw a little rip in the cache. So right here, I'm pretty much just drawing. And now I'm trying to make it look like somebody threw the ninja star into the cache. And right here, I'm doing the final white stroke. 
that's pretty much it. So once I'm done with that, I export it. You can export it in a few different file formats and I'll pull it up in Adobe Illustrator. So here I have it pulled up in Adobe Illustrator. I have this window right here pulled up. All you have to do is go to window image trace. I can't get over this list that I have. Uh, right here in mode, make sure it says color. Hit this little advanced section right here. Um, you can play around with it most of the time. It's pretty good to go. The colors, you can usually drop it down to how many other colors you want it to have. So we have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think about like eight or nine colors or so. I'm just going to leave it at like 13. And then hit trace. And check it out. Now we have a vector file. We did lose some of the parts um, right here in the 100. It's not as detailed anymore, but that's fine with me. I like it like that. Um, sometimes when you lose detail, it hides imperfections. So that's why I like things like that. And now it's a vector file. We can make this whatever size we need it to be, and we can go ahead and turn it into a t-shirt. So there's a few different ways we can turn this into a t-shirt. We can do direct to garment. I can use my UniNet printer. We can send it to a DTF printer, or we can send it over to Supercolor, or if we're doing it on a light color shirt, we can do dye sublimation. We can uh, print it out with like a sawgrass sublimation printer. Um, there's a few different ways we can do this, but for the most part, I will probably be sending this to Supercolor because I don't have a direct to film printer. And I'm not a huge fan of the UniNet printer when it comes to t-shirts for a brand. The quality of it is good enough for like generic t-shirt prints, but um, it's a little too papery for me when, when it comes to t-shirts for a brand. So I'm going to send this over to Supercolor. When those transfers get back, we'll press on to a t-shirt. Don't know if we need that video because we got plenty of those videos. So let me know if this video helped you out. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and if you want to purchase this t-shirt, it will be up on OnlyNinjas.com. And if you make a purchase on OnlyNinjas.com, every dollar on that website is one entry into a giveaway, which is currently a vinyl cutter and a heat press. But next month coming up, I think we'll be throwing in a laptop along with that, and we'll be progressing every single month. So if you want to support the channel, OnlyNinjas.com, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Hey Hustle Ninja, thanks for watching. Remember, if you want to support the channel and have the chance to win a giveaway to help your clothing brand, be sure to check out OnlyNinjas.com. Also, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And stay hustling.